Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Blogger account. Um, here we are on blogger.com. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and select create your own blog. And this will take us to a blog sign-in page. Now what it's asking you to do here on this page is to create your own Google account. If you ever already have a Google account, like if you have Gmail or something like that, then you can just sign in. Otherwise, uh, you'll want to create a Google account here. I already have a Google account, so I'm going to click on this to sign in. And then I'm going to click on sign in. And that will take me to step two. If you have to create an account, then uh, you create one and it brings you to this step as well. Now I'm going to um, create my blog. Uh, you should give your blog a more creative title than I'm giving mine, um, but uh, that's up to you. You can check. Oh, I think I already created one. I'm going to do that. There. Okay. So, uh, yeah, just check and make sure that your address is available. And again, you know, if you want to put your name on your title or in your URL, you can. But if you want to re remain anonymous, then obviously you wouldn't want to do that. So that is up to you. As long as I know who you are and where your blog is, um, you can otherwise remain anonymous. So uh, once you've done that step, you then get to choose the template for your blog. And you can pick any one of these templates. And you can actually go back and switch and create a different template later if you're so inclined. Um, I'm going to do this one. My blog has been created. So it was that simple. So now I can start posting, as that link suggests. Now here, here I am in the basic interface for Blogger. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much just like webmail. You uh, create a template, or uh, sorry, I mean you create a title about your for your post. Um, then you write what you want in here and you can do bold and italic and left and right and center and have numbered and bulleted lists and check your spelling and insert an image and you can change the font if you want to change the font you can even if you want to you can con can compose in HTML if you're interested in doing that and you know how to do that so but that's really all there is to it you can come down here and click on post options you can allow or not allow reader comments I'd like you to allow for reader comments you can also come in here and uh, use a label. So if you have, um, you know, this is like categories. So if you want to categorize your posts or do something like that, you can. Uh, then you just click on Publish Posts, and you're done. Now I'm going to click here in, on, and then view this in a new window, and you can see here, here I am. So that's really all there is. Now you can, of course, do other things, and you can, can, can customize your um, website. So for example, if you wanted to click here on templates, you can uh, add page elements here. And so I'll show you like they have a, something they call a video bar, a newsreel, and you can add pictures. And there's lots of different things. And I really encourage you to explore those things. You're not required to add any other elements to your site. If you're interested in all this blogging stuff, we get into it in much more detail in writing in cyberspace. So uh, that would be a good class to take. But for uh, this class, certainly feel free to look around. And if people have questions, I'll, I'll be glad to answer them or do another video that goes into more depth and the various settings and all the different stuff you can do. Uh, but this is all you have to do. And so um, I'm just going to leave you with getting that far uh, in creating your blog site and your first post.